All right, GCN, I'm young blood, he, him. Yeah, I think I think Willow's amazing. I think she's like a breath of fresh air. I think she's energetic. I think she's she represents something and she's just an incredible musician, an incredible wordsmith as well. And we were always like liking each other's shit on social media and it was just about time really. And we got in the studio and memories just came out like that. It was a bit of like a home run, I think. We were like, oh, wow, that was sick. And um, I don't know, I, I, I just, I think we kind of slot together really well and we're both like pretty fucking crazy. So um, I love it. Oh, wow, I think this tour has been one of my favorite tours so far across Europe. I think the kind of, the passion and the, the, the representation of a generation's ideologies are really just coming out on this tour. Like, I had such a beautiful night in Poland last night. Like, it was it was in, it was just insane. Like, when I when I visit places like that who face real struggles in terms of identity and sexuality and gender, like for to come together and scream so loud for love and and expression is what Youngblood's all about. much to um, some scary Polish people's demise. We, um, I painted, um, I, pr I painted a pride flag on the floor outside the venue in lead-based paint so they couldn't wash it off. And the kids went crazy because it's, it's so hard there to express yourself like that. And I think with it all, what Youngblood is, is I want it to be a shoulder and a shield and an armor. I think the thing about it is, is like, I'm not very good at that. You know what I'm saying? I like, I kind of, I don't really have time for that. And it'll probably bite me in the ass one day. But I think what keeps me going and what kind of gives me my energy that people know me for is just like, the connection with the community and what's happening right now. There's something mental happening with us right now. It's it's five to 10,000 kids in every city screaming every day in the name of individuality and acceptance. And most importantly, love. Like I was so angry at the start of my career when I thought I was cool. You know what I mean? I was like, it was about being angry and, and 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 fuck you but what it very quickly turned to was love like i thought everything comes down to love was such a cliche until i felt love until i felt accepted until i felt seen and heard and why is everything comes down to love a cliche why do so many people say it because it's fucking true I think I've learned how powerful the mind of a young person can be. You know, I think it's a big misconception about me and us that it's just, there's an ignorance about us. Well, I, well, I think it's ignorant to think there's an ignorance about young people right now. I think there's a power and a beauty with what they have to say. I just think Ireland's always such a riot. I think even even with you guys, with what you have to fight against, there's such a passion and and fire ingrained within your history. You know what I mean? And and and, and I just can't wait. It's always just mental.